Hello and welcome to this short Rodenschwarz introduction video on JCIS. JCIS stands for Joint Communication and Sensing, whereas sometimes also ICAS, Integrated Communication and Sensing, is used. JCIS is one fairly interesting out of few important research topics today. In essence, the idea is to support data communication and environmental sensing known from today's radar applications in one single technology, namely in 6G. So let's spend a few minutes looking into this topic and also how test and measurement supports these research activities. I'd like to start with some use case examples. So we have gesture control and detection. We have automotive radar and safety, so more known use cases that can be enhanced. There's also industrial applications where machines and humans work together, so environmental sensing might be helpful here. At your home, intrusion and proximity detection might be a good use case. For e-health even, we have detection of falling people at home or heart rate uh, monitoring from remote. And finally, we can also improve the communication link by using these capabilities. So if we are able to see objects in the proximity, we can steer our beam forming for the data communication to improve it. So next, let's look what are the commonalities between both worlds. So in both technologies, we deal with similar hardware architectures actually, and we have common challenges. So we have beamforming applied with phased array antennas very commonly. We do something like target parameter estimation in radar and channel estimation in communication. Also symbol detection and target detection might be similar. Both technologies benefit from recent trends like artificial intelligence and also higher frequency with higher bandwidths are very supportive for both. So a high level of integration of these two aspects are good for cost efficiency, are good for spectral efficiency, and we can use information of these two worlds. So next I like to look at the waveform aspects. We can integrate both systems by sharing the same hardware, but still having different signals either separated in time, in frequency, or using code components. If we want to have a higher integration, maybe we start from a communication-centric approach, which is potentially OFDM based. Or we start from a radar-centric approach, which is maybe more using SHRP signals as today, plus then using additional modulation for the data transmission. Obviously, the goal is to find a jointly optimized waveform design that even allows for trade off the performance into communication or in sensing, depending on the use case. And it's not only the waveform which is important in research at the moment. There are aspects like the system architecture, also how we fuse the data that we gain from both worlds. So next, I'd like to discuss the test and measurement aspects. So you can see on this slide a setup where it consists of a base station communicating to an end-user device and in the middle we have an object like a car. In the communication world we are interested in KPIs like the throughput of that data connection or the video or voice quality on application layer. We also measure the performance in RF like an EVM or a power or a spectrum. In the other world, we are more interested in the detection, in the accuracy of that detection, and also in the resolution. And we usually have some attributes connected to the object, like speed, distance, and so on. And in all this, of course, interference may play a role. Now, we do have instruments that can emulate things, like a signal generator doing base station signals, a signal analyzer receiving analyzing transmitted signals. And of course, a signal generator can do also interfering signals. And also we have an object emulator that is able to emulate certain targets. On this slide, you can see how we did it in a real conference as a demo setup. This was done in Dresden in May earlier this year. We're using the ARIC to influence the signals we were generating by the generator. And also then we did some autocorrelation measurements with the analyzer. It's very important to understand that obviously the radar test instrumentation is not designed for FR2 communication frequency bands today. In this setup you saw before, we, we used an FE44 front and out of the communication world to play together with the ARIC. That was a prototype solution, just to start uh, testing and supporting the research world 
which is work actively working today. So let me come to an end with some few takeaways for you. Academica and key industry players are really exploring the boundaries and starting looking into this next generation, namely into 6G. And certainly joint integrated communication and sensing is judged a very important technology component and it will enable new or enhanced use cases. So from Rod and Schwarz perspective, JCAS is indeed a very interesting topic, since we can actively support the ongoing research activities on both communication and sensing radar aspects. I hope you found this small introduction video useful to listen to. For sure, we will provide more information on this topic in future. Thus, stay tuned and continue to have a look at our Think6 channel. Many thanks for watching.